With this video tutorial, you will learn how to crochet a snowdrop spring flower. First, I will be crocheting petals. There are three of them. And then, with the green color yarn, I will be working this part. For work, you need a crochet hook and two balls of yarn. White color yarn is for the petals and green one for the back part. Begin working with the white color yarn. Make a chain of six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now join the chain and the round with a slip stitch. Then to begin the first round and crochet the first petal, chain 3 to bring up the yarn, 1, 2, 3. And now I will be working double crochet stitches through the chain stitches. Again, I will work not into the ring, but through the chain stitches of this foundation ring. Let me pull the tail first. And now we can continue. Through the next chain stitch, double crochet three times. One, two, and the last double through the same stitch. Three. I worked three double crochet stitches into one stitch. Then continue double crochet through the next chain stitch. Now turn the work to the other side. Make three turning chains. One, two, three. Skip the first double on previous row and double crochet through in each of next three double crochet stitches. One, two, three, and the last double work through the next chain stitch. I made four double crochet stitches. Now turn to continue, chain two, one, two. Again, skip the first double on previous row and double crochet through in each of next three double crochet stitches. I made one, two, and three. Then chain two and slip into the next chain stitch on previous row. Then work on the side, make a slip stitch through an inch of next two chain stitches and then slip into the double crochet stitch. Insert the hook in top and inside strands in two strands and work a slip stitch through. And right now we completed the first petal of our snowdrop flower. We need to continue and crochet two more. Let's continue together. To begin the second petal, double crochet through the same chain stitch of our foundation ring that we worked the last double through. Then double crochet three times into the next chain stitch of the foundation ring. One, the second one goes into the same chain stitch, two, and the last one into the same chain stitch, three. I made three double crochet stitches into one chain stitch, then continue double crochet through the next chain stitch. Here it is. Now turn the work and make three turning chains. One, two, three. Skip the first double on previous row and double crochet through in each of next four double crochet stitches. One, two, three, and four. Then turn the work, chain two, one, 
two, skip the first double and previous row and double crochet three in each of next three double crochet stitches. Two and the last one, three. Then chain two, one, two, and slip into the next chain stitch and previous row. Then make a slip stitch three in each of next two chain stitches. One and two. And the last slip stitch work into the double crochet. Here insert the hook in two strands and work a slip stitch. The second petal of our flower is ready. Keep working to crochet the last petal. Double crochet through the same chain stitch of our foundation ring that the last double is coming out of. Then double crochet three times into the next last chain stitch of the foundation ring. This is the first double. Work the second one into the same chain stitch two and the last one into the same chain stitch three. And double crochet one more time through the first chain stitch of the foundation ring. You remember through this first chain stitch we worked a slip stitch to join the foundation chain in the round. It is not easy to work through this stitch but you need to try your best. Double crochet is made. Now turn the work and make three turning chains. One, two, three. Skip the first double in previous row and double crochet through in each of next four double crochet stitches. I made one, two, three, and the last one, four. Then again turn the work chain two, skip the first double and double crochet through an each of next three double crochet stitches, two and the last double, three. Then chain two, one, two and slip into the next chain stitch on previous row. Continue make a slip stitch through an each of next two chain stitches and the last slip stitch work into the double crochet. Now to complete this round make a slip stitch through the third chain stitch that we made in the beginning of this round. Here is this chain stitch. You can see that through this third chain stitch we worked this double. Now the petals are made and this part of the flower is ready. We have made three petals. Now you can cut the white yarn. Take the green color yarn and before we start let's see closer at our petals. This is the outside of our flower and this is the inside. I will be working in rounds from the outside here. So to begin working with green yarn, insert the hook in between two double crochet stitches. It doesn't matter which ones, you can start at any place. Just insert the hook in between two double crochet stitches and into the ring. Take new yarn and pull it through. Then chain two, one, two. Then insert the hook into the next space between the doubles. It's here. And then again into the ring like this. And double crochet through. Then I will be working decrease stitches, two double crochet together. For this, begin the first double inserting the hook into the next space between the double crochet stitches, like this. Then insert the hook into the ring and 
Work the first double. Work until you have two loops on the hook. Hold these two loops and begin the second double into the next space between the stitches below. Insert the hook, pull up a loop, work until you have three loops on the hook, then yarn over and pull through three. Work this stitches all the way till the end of this round. Begin the first double, work into the foundation ring of the flower. Insert the hook in between the stitches and into the ring. Work until you have two loops on the hook, then begin the next double. Work into the next space between the stitches and into the ring. Take the yarn and pull it through. Let me try it again. Yarn over, insert the hook. Take the working yarn and pull it through. Then yarn over and pull through two. We have three loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through three. Continue and work double crochet two together the same way till the end of this round. It is not easy to crochet, that's why you need to be patient and work slowly. Here I'm about to complete this round. I worked the last double crochet two together stitch. Now to complete this round, make a slip stitch through the first double crochet we worked on the beginning of this round. In the next round, I'm going to work the same decrease stitches. To begin the second round, chain two, one, two, then double crochet through the next stitch on previous round, and then double crochet two together. Begin the first double through the next stitch. Do not complete this double. Hold two loops on the hook and begin the second double through the next stitch. Work until you have three loops on the hook. Then yarn over and pull through three. Work double crochet two together stitches till the end of this round. Let's complete this second round together. Do it by making a slip stitch through the first double on this round. The slip stitch is made and our snowdrop is almost ready. We just need to crochet a stock to finish the project. For the stock, make 7, 8 or even more chain stitches. I don't count here. Then skip the first stitch away from the hook and make a slip stitch into each chain stitch. First, make a slip through the second chain stitch away from the hook and then make a slip stitch through an each of next chain stitches. Work all the way till you reach the body of the flower. And the last stitch now to complete the flower, slip into any stitch on top of the flower here. The flower is ready. Now you can cut off the yarn and hide the tails. In this video tutorial I made a beautiful spring flower which is called a snowdrop flower. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We upload a new video every day.